November 16th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Revelation chapter 5 from the New Testament. Then I saw in the right hand of the one who was seated on the throne a scroll written on the front and back and sealed with seven seals. And I saw a powerful angel proclaiming in a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or look into it. So I began weeping bitterly because no one was found who was worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. Then one of the elders said to me, Stop weeping. Look, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered. Thus he can open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw standing in the middle of the throne and of the four living creatures and in the middle of the elders a lamb that appeared to have been killed. He had seven horns and seven eyes, which were the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. Then he came and took the scroll from the right hand of the one who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders threw themselves to the ground before the Lamb. Each of them had a harp and golden bowls of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. They were singing a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, because you were killed, and at the cost of your own blood, you have purchased for God persons from every tribe, language, people, and nation. You have appointed them as a kingdom and priest to serve our God, and they will reign on the earth. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels in a circle around the throne, as well as the living creatures and the elders. Their number was ten thousand times ten thousand, thousands times thousands all of whom were singing in a loud voice. Worthy is the Lamb who was killed to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and praise. Then I heard every creature in heaven, on earth, under the earth, in the sea, and all that is in them, singing to the one seated on the throne and to the Lamb, be praise, honor, glory, and ruling power forever and ever. And the four living creatures were saying, Amen. And the elders threw themselves to the ground and worshipped. God, in our previous reading in Revelation, we get this beautiful vision of the elders in heaven and the host worshipping you and praising you. And then we're shown this scroll that is written on the inside, on the one side that is normally written on. It's also written on the back, which is a little bit odd because it's hard to write on leather or papyrus, which is what they were made out of. But it's written on the front and the back and it's rolled up like the scrolls, like the writings were back then and sealed with seven seals. Um, and John, who's writing this, knows that nobody is worthy to open those and he's devastated and he weeps bitterly until one of the elders tells him to stop and let them explain that your son is worthy and so your son Jesus Christ walks to the center of all of this and the creatures and the elders who were worshiping you also worship your son who is worthy of glory and worship as you can see through all their songs that they sang. But the, and even though your son completely deserves this praise, the part that just uh, touches my heart is John's weeping. That tension that should always be inside of us, God, that we know we'll never be perfect in this life, but we've got to keep striving and keep working harder. Not for ourselves, none of this is about us, but the betterment of your kingdom. You didn't create us to um, hang out with our friends and gossip. You didn't create us to be in abusive relationships. You didn't, you didn't create us so that we could hang out on Friday nights at the bar and drink. You created us to be your children, to worship you 
and most importantly to glorify you here on earth and ultimately in heaven so that tension that john feels that we're not worthy to open that scroll god i just pray for that tension to always be there in my life that i should always be striving to be better i know i can never be perfect like your son jesus christ the ultimate sacrifice but i can keep working on it every day and with your help and your guidance and by me being quiet and listening to what you speak into my life sometimes very loudly i know that my life can glorify you i won't always get it right in fact a lot of times i won't get it right but god i want that tension that intentionality to always be in my life as a reminder that i am not worthy for everything that you've given me but i will keep striving to be better for you for your kingdom and for loving your people god thank you for putting that tension in my heart i know i couldn't do this on my own and it's only by you and your grace and your mercy that i'm even allowed another day to get to talk to people about you god i pray for this tension for everyone in the world all of your children and i pray all this in your son who is worthy, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.